I've got five words for you. Facebook, tracking, pixels. Oh yeah. Hey, it's Ange from Dotty Media today. In today's little video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add a Facebook tracking pixel to your website and also to lead pages. So if you have a website and you think that there's the slightest chance that you might run Facebook ads at some point in the future, then you need to get a Facebook tracking pixel added to your website ASAP. It's one of the first things that I say to new Facebook ad clients when I start working with them. But also one of the common problems that I hear a lot is people just have no idea A, where to find them within Facebook and B, how to actually add them anywhere. So today I'm going to solve that little problem for you. So let's see where we can peep these goddamn little pixels. Okay, so I'm in my home feed in Facebook and I'm just going to click in ads manager on the left hand side here to go to the ads manager. So once I get into my ad account there's tools along the top. I'm going to click on that and on pixels and this takes me into the screen with my Facebook pixel. So that's the one pixel that I get for my ad account which is the tracking pixel and that is the pixel that you want to add to your website, to your landing pages um, to track all the people that come there. They're different from the conversion tracking pixels. I'll do another video on conversion tracking pixels and when you want to use them. So let's just talk about this tracking pixel now. So click on actions and view pixel code. So this code here is the bit of code that you want to add to your website and your landing pages. If you just click once in here, it will select it all and then you can just um, copy that. So I'm going to copy that bit of code. Then if I want to put that onto my website, it really depends on your website and what theme you are using. So if I'm in the Dotty Media website, we actually use the Genesis theme. So it's really very easy to add a pixel there. When I'm in the back end of my website, I just click on Genesis on the left hand side and then I scroll down here to header and footer scripts and then this bit here is any piece of code or script that you want to put between the head tags. So what we can see here um, I've already got some different scripts uh, included and this here is my Facebook pixel code. So if I didn't already have that in there I would just copy and paste my Facebook pixel code into this box and then I would save settings. So that's how to do it if you have a Genesis theme. Now, if you don't have Genesis theme, some themes it can be quite hard to do and you need a web developer to do it. So I use a plugin on any websites that are, are not so simple to add. And the plugin that I recommend you use is called Insert Headers and Footers. And it's by um, WPP Beginner. Um, if you search for that in your the back end of your website, so if you go to plug in and add new, you can search for insert headers and footers and then you just install it and activate it. Once it's activated and installed, you just click on settings here, insert headers and footers and then it's going to open up on this screen and then you would place your pixel code there in scripts and header and then you would save. And so that is how you would add the tr Facebook tracking pixel onto your whole website if it's not something like Genesis. So that's it, getting it onto your WordPress website. If you have a Squarespace website, there is a space uh, easily for you to add it within Squarespace. I don't have access to any Squarespace websites, so I can't show you it right here, but I will link to an article that does show you how to do it on Squarespace. So what about landing pages, lead pages in particular. So lead pages don't automatically pick up the code from the main um, website, even if you use the lead pages plugin. So you have to manually add it from within the lead pages. So if I just go here, so I'm in, logged into my lead pages. This is one of my landing pages for the free Instagram cheat sheet. If I want to add the tracking code to that landing page, I click on lead page options up the top and then tracking codes and then I insert my piece of code here and you can see I've already got that um, in 
here in the head tag tracking code. So these tracking code boxes, that's also where you would put your Google Analytics tracking codes if you were wanting to track things within Google Analytics. And then once you've added that, you would click on done and then you would save at the top. Okay, so now that your pixel's added, there's just one final step to check that it's been added correctly. And how do you do that? Well, there's a handy little extension that you can get for the Chrome browser called the Facebook Pixel Helper. So I'm just gonna click over here. This is the FB Pixel Helper. So obviously you have to be using the Chrome browser to be able to use this. And basically it's this little thing up here in my um, extension bar, Facebook Pixel Helper. And this will tell me if I've added the pixel correctly onto my pages. So let's check the Instagram cheat sheet. So this was it in lead pages. I've added it with lead page options. Let's go to the actual page itself. Okay, and we can see here, this little Facebook Pixel Helper has a little green one. So if I just click on that, it said one pixel is found and it's my Facebook Pixel for page views. So there we go. That is my pixel and it's added correctly. So get to it. Go to your Facebook Ads Manager, grab that bit of code, get it added to your website and your lead pages if it's appropriate, install the Facebook Pixel Helper onto your Chrome browser and make sure that you've done it all properly. Music